Instagram Live we're talking to each other, looking that way. And we're also <laughs> on um, YouTube and Facebook. That's true. We're like streaming all over the world. Um, I actually met both Leo and Spencer through the IG. And this is the first time y'all are meeting? In yes, yeah. this is our first time But meeting. I feel like I know him. Yeah, <laughs> same, same. <laughs> I know. It's, and that's the, that's the cool thing about social media, um, that it can bring people together. Yeah. And Hell yeah. And kind of make you feel like you already know people. So, I feel like this group is millennial horns. <laughs> you know what I Whoa. mean? Millennial horns. It just Isn't that a, is oh, that not a thing on these? I don't know. That that deserves a. <laughs> because we all found each other through the internet and just I don't know through yeah putting our personalities and music out there and Some gravitating. Some thing. The millennials. That's true. Huh. The other awesome thing to me about it is that we're all. around the New York area and I don't know it says something about what's happening out here which I think is really cool which is that there's a lot of just uh you know outspoken creatives yeah you know yeah um coming together which I'm a big fan of the community and and spotlighting it which is like what this party that I've been hosting is all about yeah y'all Spencer is hosting a dope party for all of you New Yorkers. Actually, you guys could just like fly in too if you're not. Actually, these two guys are performing at the party this Friday. Oh very my true, God. very true. I found that out via Leo's Spoiler comment alert. on your <laughs> So crazy. Yeah, so Friday. So Friday oh, wow. nine PM at the Freehold. It's a free party. You can see us in the flesh. It happens every last Friday of every month. Dope. And for the first time we're gonna be together at the party performing, playing and jamming. But it's not just about seeing us, it's about coming and having a good time and it's free. Dope. You know? Yeah, and, and if you live in Australia you can still make it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to buy a ticket like right now. Yeah, like right now. Or London. There might be some people who just or, about do that. Yeah. They're gonna be like someone who's just gonna show up and be like, I'm from Australia. But I know Leo was just in London, so for those of you who just True. are now here from London, are fans of Leo, get on a plane. <laughs> Where are you guys tuned in from? Who are we? But yeah. you gotta yeah. tell us, tell us, give us those hearts, y'all. We're I'm gonna go like. We're all right, on. yeah, let's. I'm gonna like wave. So good, our mutual. So many people. people. <laughs> we need another camera. Someone said they all have such great hair. Okay. Yes. Oh, we Very are true. Great hair. We are hair people. I'm we are hair to, people. We should we I'm should talk to, about that. We hair. Let's we don't just care. We hair. I'm trying to find a comment. We out hair. We out hair. We out hair. Should we like play them a thing? Like yeah. A song? Do you guys want to hear a song? Or do you just like to look at our hair? Our um, are we live on all the channels? Um. Okay, yeah. Cool. Uh, so guys, we just literally got together 30 minutes ago and we're figuring out what to play um, live. And so then we learned one of Spencer's songs and figured we'd, we'd do the acoustic version yeah. for y'all. Yeah. Um, also, ironically, this song is about how sometimes social media can be a little overwhelming, a little distracting, which I think we can all agree. Dude. <laughs> It's really important to take little breaks, I think. Yeah. I think we should talk about the After Boys song. I think oh, that's yeah. Like a yeah, really that's good like topic. super. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's 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 so it's so crazy because it's like that's how we met. We love it. Right. We, you know, we appreciate social media. Right. But um, it certainly can be overwhelming and distracting all the time. So yeah. Yeah. Love hate thing. Nice. Love hate thing. Yeah. yeah. We'll come back to that. Um, let's do it. Okay. Um, are we gonna get a little beat or oh we could uh or, or should we just I'll bring jam? It, I'll bring it in I okay. might like DJ style bring it in <laughs> that's dope because I think I have the BPM you guys can't see that we also have an iPad and computer set up so we're like reading about five different screens right now and there's cats on YouTube from California Scotland Kansas dope. City Argentina Columbus Ohio um really awesome and people are getting impatient and they're saying play something all right <laughs> Wow. You guys don't okay. like just staring at our hair? I mean, it's, you know. All right. Yeah, well, we do We do like to play with our hair. <laughs> yeah. 
That's a weird thing that like we all do. Yeah, as um, friends. yeah, first time, first time friends. Like we also have that in common. We started talking <laughs> about that really quickly. I feel like the length of our hair is like perfectly in line. You know that what I mean? Too. It's like that too. Yeah, it's an evolution. Yeah. <laughs> this is just three versions of the same person. Actually. As you guys can see, we um, we've all hit it up quite quickly. Hit yeah. It up. Yeah. Let's do it. Did someone just hit you up called Hairdo? <laughs> No, no, that's Matt Doe, Matt Doe, but his, I never really put the E on the end of his name in my phone book, so it's actually just Matt Do. Wait, how incredible would it be if, like, in this moment, your, like, hairdresser just texted you? That would be incredible. Would be yeah. What does Matt do? Maybe he Matt, he's a trauma player player in Tomb of Zeus. Oh, Does yeah. he also do hair? No. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Does Matt Doe do the... He actually has cut his own hair. I mean, nice. just really does a buzz cut like once or twice a year, but he does a good job at that. Nice. So, he does do hair. There we go. Let's do so, it, guys. Yeah, in honor of social media, we're going to play a song of mine called Just Want to Dance, all about how much it kind of sucks. <laughs> Which boy knows? Okay. So, so should I count us off? Or? Yeah, do I start? I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. 
nice. We all kind of that was fun. Communicated well. I don't get to play with uh, other horns often enough, and you guys are amazing. That was so thank you very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People are asking when uh, when the tour is. Oh well, uh, <laughs> it's starting right now. You're the one actually. going on tour. But I am going. I'm yeah. going on tour. Um, starting in a couple weeks, hitting Boston and. Headed, oh, I'm so bad at my dates. I like literally have to look at my website. But I am going. She's out. going on tour, I have everybody. A new album. Leo, did you? Are you back for a second? Are you going back? I'm now? back What's for up? a second. Um, the next tour I'm doing is with Moon Hooch. Oh, oh awesome. Um, yeah, yes. on it starts April 14th. Amazing. So, are you a little time solo or? Oh, it's with Too Many Zeus. Zeus. So it's with Too Many Zeus and Co-headline. Zeus and co-headline. So. Um, so that's gonna be a fun tour. How long is it? Um. It's like really short, like a week or something, or cool. maybe a little longer. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I'm a fan of both. Yeah, I've seen awesome. too many zoos and Moon Hooch yes. uh, in the subway, and was like, "Yo, awesome band in the subway, come here now." I was one of those guys. Hell yeah! And so. I <laughs> went to well, let's see, Mike Wilbur and I um, met in high school at All State Band, saxophone and Moon Hooch, and then reconnected mm-hmm. recently. Did an epic jam. He is yeah. Sick. He's awesome. You guys are real good friends. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Oh boy, yeah. And what about you? Are you are you at the New York? Yes, residency? so I have a residency in New York that is like taking up all my time, but I'm enjoying every moment of it. So this residency happens the last Friday of every month. These two are playing on Friday. Oh yeah. Um I've got this amazing aerial duo also for the first time, you know, swinging from the ceiling. What? Wait, yeah, how do you, how do you do they have to like set up specifically? Yeah, we had to install what oh is called a lira, <laughs> which lira? which I've always just called the hula hoop. That's a you know what I mean? Name, lira. The lira. lira. I've I've learned a lot of things creating this party that I never thought I would learn. And this party too was just like an idea as a way to like, you know, make a make a concert a little more exciting. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we've got fire dancers, aerialists, contortionists. Um, People dressed up in costume. I mean, it's just like it's just a party. It's super fun. Lyra. Lyra. You all heard it first. Um, but I, I'm doing some summer festivals. Um, I am doing the Hangout Festival in Alabama, yeah. which um, is like basically Coachella, but same lineup, same idea, but on the beach. It's so cool. It's Dope. so cool. So yeah, I'm planning on hanging out that weekend and enjoying myself, and um, yeah, doing some Pride festivals, which I'm excited about. Nice. Yeah, those are always really really fun. I'd love yeah. to hear your guys' thoughts on. I'm I'm like moving my head because yeah. I'm checking the comments. I know there's. But so I'd love many. to hear your guys' thoughts on social media just because like I I recently felt super burnt out from yeah, social you took media. A break. Yeah, so my boyfriend whisked me away to the Dominican Republic, which was like the greatest <laughs> um, until I crashed the bike. But we're okay. <laughs> uh, no, it was it was a great trip. But it was um, I don't know how do you deal with like. It's a kind of bizarre thing for me when people um, sometimes meet me and it's like, it's very, it's uh, flattering because they're like, oh, I know you, but then um, I don't know all of them. <laughs> and then, but then it's like, but we're having this conversation through these DMs yeah, and like I love- Based on what you've done. And I love people, yeah. so I, I want to have the, the human interaction, but I'm sure you guys get this a lot, right? Where it's like a lot of, interaction online a lot of people know you when you're out on the road and like how do you balance healthy social media in <laughs> is there such yeah. thing um <laughs> well wow i don't know the thing is like i try my best to like stay like focused like that's my biggest issue is that like i don't think like i think like you can control how much social media affects you yeah. and like it's really important to like not look at the petty stuff and just kind of like trolls and stuff like that's a, the biggest issue for me is just like when people are just like insulting mm. and like mm. like saying something about you as if like you're not there and it's literally like in your comment section right mm. it's like that's like the hardest thing for me to deal with um and like and like just like when i don't know like some, someone asks a question like oh what kind of reason you use something that i just answer it and they're like what kind of mouthpiece do you use? What kind of like, blah, blah, blah. And like it's like, on demand. and it's like at first, on demand. at first, like there's all these people that are like, why didn't you answer my question? Why didn't you answer my question? But then it's like because I know that that's not the last question. 
It's only the first question. Oh, Which man. I'm going to interrupt you for a moment and just say that someone is asking how he can contact you. There you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right <Instagram>. now. <laughs> and they want to get you to sing. Wow. wow. Good so luck with said, that. Said, Good luck. Uh, okay, but go on. I interrupt you. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying, like, um, what was I saying? You were saying um, people, you're like on demand. People were asking Oh, yeah, it's just like, because like, there's always things at first with like people like contact me individually like on social media that like I was like oh like I should just answer all these questions but then there's like these moments where I'm like I could literally just answer questions all day long right. and then I wouldn't play saxophone anymore and then people wouldn't send me messages asking questions right. you know what I mean like there's these things I get wow. in my head where I'm wow. like yeah whoa I can't just explain this to everybody but like I can't really spend my time answering questions because like I need to make music so that like people will be fans of me still and um, That's a really interesting struggle and very, you know what very I mean? different like, than my own. Yeah, like, especially with the Facebook, like, I never go on Facebook. And part of that's just because, like, I don't really do Facebook as much anymore. I'm just more of an Instagrammer at this point. It's just my favorite platform for looking at things and mm -hmm. et cetera. It's just, like, faster. I just like looking at just a ton of pictures and just yeah. clicking on them. Like, right. That's yeah. just what I'm into. <laughs> um, and, like, a lot of times people will be like, I see your Facebook thing or the Thomas, uh, you know. Why don't you, like, you never talk to your fans, you never comment, and it's like, yeah, like, a lot of times the people that do, that are big artists, aren't actually doing it themselves. Right. Yeah. Like, at least I am doing what I do, which is, like, answering a few questions here and there, like, when it works out and I have a second to really just, like, sit down and answer questions. Um, you know, there's just, like, a lot of people that don't even do that. It's not, yeah, at least um, we're all holding our phones and that's true. There's some artists that it's like, uh, it's They're not, not from their voice. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So I guess just, I don't know, being honest about like, just explaining even that, just being like, hey, like I don't answer every email or, or, or um, message or whatever because I can't just do that all day. I think that's been something on my mind recently too, like how to balance the time management. That's, that's my issue. Yeah, like how totally. do you, it's cause, cause there is a real thing of like burnout of also for me, like just looking at screens, you know, yeah. and then, but my love is just performing and getting to do this and yeah. just, perf you know, but then such a crucial <laughs> part of what we do too is like, you have to do, um, answer emails and business side and, mm. you know. I try to like block out specific times where I'm going to like be on social media mm. and do like an hour of social media but it's hard because you know you'll get a notification and then you just feel pressured to like check it out um and then you end up like you know 20 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever and, and suddenly you're just like oh man i just wasted all this time and i forgot to just like be outside or like be in the moment um so yeah i feel like i'm like struggling with the time management a little bit on of social media but i think it's a beautiful thing because if it wasn't for social media we wouldn't have met that's very true. We wouldn't have connected. And man, it is so crazy to me. I think daily someone tells me about somebody or I discover somebody that has over a million followers I've never heard of them. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? what the world is amazing. You know, everybody is like got their own little audience and whatever, but it's just amazing how many people are connecting on social media and how there are these people who have a million followers and you've never heard of. Right. And, <laughs> I, and, and also, I got um, that, that, that's awesome. I got a message recently from a fan who had heard one of my songs, Feels Like Home, and she said, um, she sent this beautiful DM, and she was like, we were in the car with my boyfriend, he was playing the song, she, like, you guys, it's one of my favorites, and I just proposed right after, so could we use your song as our first dance? And I was like, oh my god, I'm just like That's crying. Amazing. Just to, you know, but those, I wouldn't have, yeah. didn't get to hear those stories. Yeah, we have to thank social media. It's just, it's just a personal struggle, it's you know, whether it's struggle. the, like, the, the feeling you get when someone comments negatively and the feeling of that or or just the time right the time there's only so much time in a day and if you're always on your phone it's crazy i'm just trying not to wake up and look at it that's the as someone's saying i I'm much i'm going to read a few comments here i much prefer a few heartfelt personal responses to questions than a hired social media maven thanks to all of you for every response i've had a few and they're much appreciated but never expected and someone's actually brought up a great question here um, how do you keep motivated and creative with all of your music? Love you all. That's a good one. 
I'd love to know from you guys. Um, the good thing is, like, for me, my, like, personal, um, my personal stuff that I create, like, the EP that I have out, uh, Sax Star, I'm working on Sax Star 2 currently. Yes. Um, that, to me, just, like, keeps me going because, like, really, like, Too Many Zoos is my day job and, like, we're constantly touring and working on music. So it's, like, anytime I do my own stuff, like, it's so empowering to have all the control mm -hmm. and be like, I'll do whatever I want. I'll release it whenever I want. There's something kind of incredible about taking my own solo career kind of chill in that way, mm -hmm. just because I really feel confident in everything I release. And like, I know that I have to do all this stuff with too many zoos. I have so many deadlines and um, managers and agents and, and publicists, people to talk to. Um, I'm just doing it completely myself on my own time for my own uh, uh, project and funding it, you know, through doing too many zoos. So for me, just like my solo project is a yeah. is a way for me to just be totally creative. And the fact that I have a job that I can support myself mm. um, with too many zoos makes it so that I can have that kind of cushion. Yeah, I feel I feel the same way. I mean, it's like why I went solo is to have like the creative freedom. Um, but uh, I also try to force myself into creative situations as often as possible. So I try to put myself in the studio like as many times a week as possible. Nice. And um, you know, forcing yourself to create, I think, is you know, it's a muscle that you have to like constantly work. And I, I step away from that when I perform live, and I also like search for as many opportunities to play live because I get inspired from that. So it's just a balance between like constantly playing live and then constantly being in the studio to like examine that inspiration and like let it flow and and uh, I think yeah that's I don't know my music it, it's like always changing because I'm always just like making music based on how I feel and I'm inspired by like so many different things constantly so um, yeah it's writing every day mm. really is like what awesome. what helps yeah um, yeah I mean it used to be you know, practicing every day, you know, was the was the main thing, and now it's writing every day. And there's practicing in that. I've been trying to get more yeah. into that too. Yeah, I think um, creativity is this amazing thing to me. Where sometimes I'm in a session, I feel like I have no more energy, and then it's like, you know, you only have thirty more minutes, and boom, there's just something. You know, yeah, so I feel like totally. I feel it when there's a deadline, and then sometimes it takes me stepping away. Um, and like taking other things in, whether it's you know reading something or watching something funny on YouTube or another yeah. watching dance or something to kind of get a little more perspective. Yeah. And then uh, something will come at some point. Totally. That's what's up. Totally. Um. Oh, my sister is saying, Leo, please tell Grace she needs to watch more anime. Uh. <laughs> You need to watch more anime. Wait, uh, I guess I'm the spokesperson for that. Are you an anime person? Yeah, I mean, like, not like. I, I don't want to say I am and, like, offend people that are way more into anime than I am. Um, but I like anime. That's awesome. I, I, I get that vibe from also your fashion sense. Yes. Well, I mean, not, not just because you're wearing anime. Yeah, I'm also not because you walked through the, the door Z with shirt. That's also. dope. I also get that I have Dragon Ball Z hair. Like yes, you're, you're super saiyan. Yeah, you're just su constantly super saiyan. It's yeah. not fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no. But have you seen the I Love Robots thing on Netflix? No, I haven't. Anybody have you yet? There, no. The I first episode. Okay. I, it's not like like specific. It's it's cool though. It's an it's anime. Uh huh. It's an, it's its own thing. It's hey, dope. Give me. Uh, no, oh, not to interrupt you. I just noticed that yeah. I was saying. I think somebody just tipped us on YouTube. And I, I did miss it. Someone just said that we missed both donations. Well, you friends, we're, we're going to be divvying up your your YouTube tips afterwards. So thank you for that. Yeah, I didn't um, even know you could do that. I think that. there's going to be some super fan tipping on the YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. Yeah. And the person that tipped. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, pr you can run scene. So how should we... Uh, oh, I mean, I can... Let me one second. Oh. Let me just check, <laughs> let me just check my I phone. Say, we play? I don't know if I have to necessarily. <laughs> it's at the moment, is it pausing? Um, um, yeah, let's see. What uh, else? Is it possible to get louder? Do you mean our talking or our playing? Um, who are we guys talking to? She didn't answer. We'll try. Oh, we just want you to read the tip notes. I don't know how to do oh. that. That's not nice. I guess I need to check that. 
What? Um, Posh is checking. Posh is behind the computer. Y'all, he's helping us with the technical side of things. Um, well, I'm just really excited to jam on Friday. Right? Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. Very, very excited to jam on Friday. Me too. I want, how many people are out there from New York? Yeah, we have any New Yorkers in the house? Send some hearts. Yeah. Or comment in. I hope if you're in New York, you come on Friday. Because we're going to be jamming. <laughs> Yes. And that's I have a in. glorious outfit picked out. So. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I have so. a. I have a. That's great because I have <laughs> a vision of you appearing like for the first time in the middle of the room on on a block with a spotlight. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, that's great. Yeah. That's what up? Wow, I never realized how much coordination it takes to like well, when there's other people here. Like people are now writing in caps. Grace They're is getting like heated. Currently. Facebooking, YouTubing, yeah, and guys, Instagramming I, I over have, here. This is some, I learned to say it, this is some skills. Right? Oh, someone, okay. This is dedication. This is how much messages. she Two loves messages. you. Hey, Leo, how about signing my CD? I love it. Oh, yeah. Lot. Also been said to mention the Twitter crew. Um, yeah, there's like a whole Twitter crew that <laughs> are like, they're like my super fans and they want me to join their like little group. But I'm like. He's really excited. I, it's just like a lot, okay? Twitter, I think it's like five people. They like got they like got together and they all are on this like group chat together. And uh, he mentioned there you go. He met, he mentioned it. Wait, before everyone leaves, we should do this giveaway thing. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. We have um. So there was an idea that we were initially going to take a Polaroid together and we're going to sign it and we have a special giveaway that we're going to um do online, which we'll post, which is basically like, you like share a couple things and then you get entered in to win this prize. Um, and it's really simple. But then we found out that we have no more Polaroid film, but we have chips. We have, we don't have the fish, oh, but we have I'm chips. You, Sorry, I dropped the <laughs> marker. And we have marker. holding the chips and we figured we were gonna sign it and then send it to somebody. Do you guys think Dude. that's cool? Can we we're, see some hearts? We're gonna get three so many signatures. We're gonna get oh, three like bags of oh, chips. Oh, no, is that not for that? And we're yeah, gonna I mean, sign it. I think my we're getting <laughs> slow hearts. Do you think? I mean, I think that's freaking cool. So I just cool. put up on the screen the, the link for the contest. Okay. So you she guys can wants see. To think. On she, the screen. she loves you. We also, I mean, these you. are very good chips. I gotta say, I personally, we're getting them. The hummus is nice. A nice snack. When you buy it. <laughs> This is not, an, this is not a, uh, an ad. Yeah, hummus does not come with chips. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> separately. Uh, sold separately. Sold separately. Okay, we're getting some heck yeah. People are excited. We're getting some hearts about right. the trips. Ryan the, the chips. wants the chips. Sign all the chips. See, that was like, actually what Spencer up. thought originally, was they were going to sign all the individual chips. <laughs> he, looked, he looked at us and he was like, they, so, and I'm like, wait, that sounds, that sounds yeah, cool. Yeah, we can't guarantee that it'll arrive in time. Only Pork 20 fresh. calories per signature. Yeah. <laughs> ten, but ten we can take a Polaroid on Friday. Yes. Yes. So tell you what, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to sign these chips. We'll sign Polaroids. And then we're going to ship out to three winners. And you can go on YouTube and on Facebook. There is the link on the screen. And you literally go to that link. And you enter in the giveaway. And you could win signed chips by all of us. And, and we're going to throw in a another gift too to, to the cats who and the win. Polaroid yes. that we take on Friday yes but and the chips are cool too hell yeah so <laughs> go do it and um, then you can also experience some simply naked chips hell yeah Show really excited in this show. Yes, I am. I am. 
Yeah. yeah. You know, like I don't always get to play with. I said I don't always get to play with other horns. I've been out there. I've been touring, actually just performing with track a lot of the time. So to have the horn yeah. is like so much fun. But yeah, the last tour, last couple tours I did, I just went out with the backing track and my trumpet. Wow. And I did everything myself. I set it up, packed wow. it up, sold my merch. Dude, you're all your, you're just That's awesome. yourself? All myself. Did you drive yourself too? Well, because it was just me, it was it was like cheaper to just like fly and stay at like friends' places. How is the feeling yeah. of doing all of that um, solo? Um, I I love it because I'm you know I'm pursuing my dream. This is my passion. This is my music. It's my solo project. You know, it's like I'll do anything for it. So yeah. it all feels worth it. Um, I also like. I feel like that's the time away from the studio that I really need. So I like cherish that like that solitude is great for me. I think it's really healthy and like I'm able to just like reflect a lot and learn a lot about the show. And actually I change my show constantly every single night, learning about like what was reacting best uh, track wise to like the audience and stuff like that. Mm. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's great. And to be honest, there's actually still not that much time alone because I was really close with the headlining band and um, you know, I was just with them all the time whenever I would get to the city, you know, you get to the venue and you're just you're with the, the crew and whatnot. So it's just that that traveling moment and like maybe breakfast that you're like solo, which actually is like very nice. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, solitude. Yeah, I, I think it's good and I think as like horn any any musician like can appreciate solitude because that's like how you mostly perfect your craft, you know, so that's yeah, that I feel like having that space is really important. Yeah, so I I appreciate the solo tour, and uh, I think it also makes the most sense, you know, as an emerging artist, like financially. So I've like m made the strongest set that I can uh, as a total solo performer, I, and it feels good, like it feels natural, um, because I'm like you know incorporating dance and singing yeah. and and trumpet playing and just trying to like use my whole body yeah. so I don't really feel like the people are missing anything you know I'm giving them everything so and I'm, and I'm working as hard as I can to entertain them making sure they're like smiling and having a good time and singing if possible and how do you guys critique your shows do you like film it and watch it do you have a process for um I was filming okay. my, my shows nice. yeah I put a, put a GoPro at the front of the house oh, and uh, and then I would watch my show and be like, I don't know what this song. Let me switch this around. Maybe s you know shorten this section. Mm. At, you know, add an intro here. So that's super helpful. Um, and then I don't know. I like overthink it a lot too, and, and just replay the show in my head and like think about that all the time. So yeah, like this next show on Friday. You know, <laughs> it's uh, it's constantly critiquing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's I'm trying a bunch of new stuff. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> last time I was at your show, you crowd surfed in a, a pink, on a pink flamingo. Yes. With the trumpet. And yes. again, I was like, dear God. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh my yeah. gosh. It was great. And to be honest. That was bold. It was a totally like pragmatic decision. I was just like, what's going to be an easier way to crowd surf? Because like just going in with my body is like. There's a lot of like potential things that could happen. The wires, you know, right. on my wireless, like the clothes, like so, and just like me, like being like flimsy, you know. Right. So I was just like, if I could just get something flat and large and big, it's gonna be way easier. So I was looking on on Amazon for like wraps, and then I like came came across this pink flamingo, and I was like, that's dope. It was dope. So I, but I, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna keep experimenting with different animals. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I have a really. I'm excited about what, um, what's, what's happening. <laughs> what about, Leo, what, are, what is your um, current thoughts about the show and, and, and your solo project, too, kind of critiquing? Um, oh, yeah. Um, we tape every zoo. With too many zoos, we tape every show. Um, Amazing. Wow. Sometimes the, like, video doesn't turn out that well. Yeah. Because we put it in, like, some, like, kind of part of the audience sometimes or near the stage or just, like, you know what I mean? It's hard to like really know what's gonna turn out. Um, right. But when we're on tour, uh, whenever we don't have a show, if it's like a travel day, we'll listen to as min listen to or watch as many shows as we can cool. in that day. As a band. As a band. Wow. Awesome. Like in the car. Yeah. 
And then you guys kind of like break it down together or just talk yeah. about things you... Yeah, we just like... That's cool. Just listen and be like... You know, if it's, if it's something like not super important, like, oh, like that part kind of rushed, like, oh, yeah, that's very cool. But like, oh, like, well, what happened there? Like, and then like pause it, be like, oh, I thought you were going to this group. I thought you were doing this. Um, it's a play by play. Yeah. Nice. Um, Cause we're just like working on kind of getting our tight, uh, our, our set tighter. Because basically we like decided that what we want to do is um, our original style of playing the subway, we were just like improvising and just jamming. Um, and then we like wrote all our songs through doing that. And now we're trying to just like have it so that whenever we do a show, it's all songs and we're just doing all the songs and like maybe a little bit of improvisation because now we're trying to book like more like late night stuff, sometimes after shows, sometimes just on a different day where it's like that's just our straight improvisation. So it's just jamming all night, just like kind of like a rave vibe as opposed to our like show that's more just like songs. Where? So, Sick. Yeah. Where do you? Where would you do a late night? We did one. Is we did one Philly oh. with Moon Hooch in like a warehouse. You're getting a call. Can you get that someone? Oh, Let me I just, just ignore. Sorry to interrupt. Ignore. Okay. So wait, I'm not. I, we're not actually signing this one, right? Because it's already signed. Should we sign so that confused. one? Let's, let's, sign let's, sign one. let's sign it on screen. So All that right. you guys know we're, we're really serious. We're All signing right. this gift for you. All right, I'll do the other side. Like, we're, do you know how many people have signed up for the giveaway? Oh, there's like hundreds and hundreds. Of what? Right now? I, I signed the so All right, so we're, we we're have like hundreds of people signing one, up to get to That's dope. Oh my god. So, yeah, we're that signing this bag so of dope. chips, but also don't want people to forget about the Polaroid. Because it's just, I just want them to know. <laughs> there's yeah. a Polaroid coming. So basically you can like, if you win this, you can sit at home and, and wait for the pull Yeah, and <laughs> have something to eat, you know? It's pretty exciting. And if you live in Australia, you can still make it on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's actually true. Grace. Somebody is saying, Grace, please say my name. Okay, Mateo, say your name. Shout out. Shout out to Mateo. Um, just so you guys know. Who wants name? a shout out from Leo? Oh my god, you better tip for that. Tip uh, tip tip Leo P right now. I don't also but guys, no artificial we'll colors or shout out, I put you on the spot. In this. <laughs> I don't know. Join the giveaway. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't I can't really see, can't see it. We can't okay, see we it. did it. We signed. We signed. And we're gonna also get two more bags and we're gonna sign it. And we're gonna pick three people if you join the giveaway. And again the link is bit.ly slash Signed chips. Signed chips. Signed chips. Wow, this might have to be the thing now. <laughs> Whoever you have on your show. Signed. And you know the craziest thing is like, so basically how you guys, you guys should know how this came together. Like, I'm playing with, joke to play with Spencer on Friday, and then I saw Leo's comment saying that he was gonna be there, and then like I texted Leo and was like, Yo, let's hang out. And then I was like, Wait, it'd be really cool if we do a live stream because we just got this. Um, uh, the apartment is set great setup, and then it just so happened that they like both could be here at the same time, and so this is like the first time this couch has gotten um, couch. some great super couch. musical special guest love. I'm excited to see what where the series mm. goes. I think it might have to become a series. Oh, That's pretty dope. For sure. I didn't even think of. That. <laughs> oh, well, I feel like we're here at the Grace Show right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Parts if it should be the great show. I like the sounds of that. Yeah. I do. I really do. I think it's a great idea. You already like have a thing going. And, and kind of sign it simultaneously, living in the social media world, it's nice to be able to like film it and then it lives up on all of our YouTubes and Facebooks and Instagrams. And the other night, maybe we'll do this tonight, I don't know, depending on if, we, if these guys A, have time or want to do it, people can actually request in um, to join the call. And uh, you could ask a question. We should do that. That could be cool. Should we play another thing? Do you guys want to hear another thing? Or um, can we play them something? Yeah, I you can. Have a song, I, right? you said you I have a song. I have yeah. to leave in like 15 minutes. That's, okay. That's why I've extended to that in okay. my head. Awesome. Um, or I guess pack up in 15 minutes. I have, I have a track that we could do. Um, it's the Rolling Stones song. Miss You, and there's a little remix, 
and no. it's basically in um, it's in E major concert. So I'll pull that up. It's off off the last pair of time live in Brooklyn keys. So and that's gonna be a C sharp uh, for the E flat <laughs> instrument. And there's a few moments. And F sharp for yeah. the G flat instrument. There's a few instrument. moments it goes to minor too. But why don't I start playing it and singing it, and then at any moment, if you guys, uh, we can just there could be pads. There could be also it's just a beat. So it's a dope beat. It's not just beat. Sweet. And we can, it's just we a beat. <laughs> wow, really hating on this beat. You know that beat has feelings. <laughs> the beat has feelings. Uh, we could also just jam out on the track. Um, let's do it. Okay.
Can we take a caller? What do you guys think? Yeah, yes. I'm down. I'm down. Also, wait, who used to be a friend? Uh, this is a J2CO production. He's oh. my peace brother. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, peace brother. All right. If you not know that, that's permanent. Nice. Um, let's take a question. Yeah. Also, remember shit. Taking questions. Let, so, Yo. have you guys done this before? How do we take I questions? Which you, so, you see that red uh, button? Oh, okay. So what we're gonna do is just give a couple minutes to whoever mm -hmm. um, is calling in. It's not that we don't like you. It's just we can't have probably uh, we can't have a full blown right. discussion. Okay. How's it? Well, well. Okay. Let me. Do, I'll, I'll do mine first. Yeah. You go. Um, we are going to go live with uh, Tristan. All right. Here we go. We're going live with Tristan. Oh, we're going live. Yeah, like Tristan's going to pop up. Wow. My heart is beating. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm excited to meet Tristan. Tristan. It's waiting for, what's up, Tristan? Oh, God, hello. Hello. Tristan. Hey. Are you there? Hello. I think you might need to flip the screen. Where's the audio? Oh. Oh, what's oh, up? Oh, you look comfy. What's up, dude? Yeah. Do you have any questions for us? Instagram. You my know. mom's watching too. My mom and dad, I think, were commenting. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. So, like, I don't know who to pick. Oh, those, all those people want to go live. I guess. Wait, no, no, no. Go to the top. Go to the, I think it's in the top sec. Oh my God, those are all requests. Oh my God. Mr. Popular. <laughs> um, I don't know. Pick somebody. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh. You press their button. You press their. Just, I'm gonna press the first one. Maybe the first, and then you press F. All right. Yeah, that's how it works. Like, Dibs. you know, when you're getting upgraded to, like, you know, Delta Plus. Yeah. This person better be stoked. Are they coming? They're, um, yeah, waiting. To all right, we're me. taking callers, everybody. Oh, hey, what's up? Hello, what's up? What's up? Who are you? I'm James. You what's up, James? Nice to meet James. What's I don't up, James? know James, but I do now. James, good hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. What's going on? Wow. Your, your what? Heart's beating. Heart's oh, beating right your screen is also beating. Where are you? Where are you in the your world? Heart's beating. Whoa, my heart's beating. San Antonio, Texas. Luckily, no. San Antonio, Texas. Okay, we're, we're, we're very happy. Your heart is beating. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Um. So, do you have any yeah. questions? Yes, I do have a question. So, right now, I'm in high school. Okay. And I would like to know, like, how do I get my name out to be a professional on Young Guys one day? That's a really good question. 
Wow, I, I would just say um, find something that you feel like you really love and you're really good at. I mean, it might be obvious that's music, but I mean specifically um, find something in music that you love, that you're really good at, and you feel like you kind of have a, an extra edge on, and then just push it as hard as you can and just perform for anyone, anywhere, anytime, as much as you can. How long did no, you play in the subway? Totally agree. For initially. I've been playing saxophone for five years now. Oh, word. Oh, wow. Nice. What's yeah. that? Very? I play alto, very and tenor. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I, I would kind of say, um, I think this is a great question, so I'm going to jump in there. Um, I think it's really important to hone in on the craft. And, I, you know, there's so many, um, with social media, it's incredibly distracting sometimes uh, and easy to measure things just on likes and all that. But I think it's important to have X amount of um, time to just hone in on, oh, it paused on me. Your craft, you're saying, it's a great thing to be able to document it as well on social media and be able to share the process. You know, I know um, it, it's paused, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep I going because people I are listening. Still, yeah. I think there's other people that, uh, <laughs> the, okay, well, let's, I guess that ended. Oh, man. Oh, okay, that ended. That's yeah. what, that's he still sees you, though. He, that was he's a great, there. Great he's there. Question. I think it takes a lot of heart, soul, passion to be an artist, and you you really just gotta give it everything. Yeah, you gotta give it everything. I mean, you're in school right now. A lot of you are in school. You have to be in school. Part of it is just doing only music. So, I'm not saying don't do school because you absolutely have to. But when you're ready to fully commit, that's like when you're really gonna be able to, um, yeah, get somewhere with it. I feel like. Um, you know, these guys are like fully dedicated to the craft. There's nothing else that they're doing. And social media really helps, obviously, get the word out. So, yeah, once you find that thing Leo was talking about, start, start doing it as much as possible and putting it out there. And um, I would also add to that collaboration. Mm -hmm. I think collaboration is like so key to learning about yourself and learning from other people and just like soaking things up and it's fun. Okay, so the first time um, Leo and I finally connected in person, we've been talking on Instagram for um, months. Why did the video end? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I have one minute remaining. I think it's. it's oh, 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 oh. oh, we got okay. time. We got. We oh, I got 17 should, seconds we left. Should peace. All right. All right. Well, All right, well let's bye. Bye. <laughs> Everybody have a good. Uh... Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Oh, guys, giveaway. Remember, you can win these three wow. bags of signed chips. Polaroids, and you just need to go to the link um, bit.ly slash sign chips, and it's super easy to enter, and literally, like, these are yummy, and I think we already have had a few hundred people sign up, which is dope, because we've only been streaming for, like, less than an hour. Um, awesome. Well, peace. 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 See you on Friday. <laughs> yeah. We should come back with another live, like, in the club. Yeah. Guys, this is, are we still alive? Are we still alive? Oh, on uh, YouTube and. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to peace out. Bye, everybody. Peace. Aww.